stop what you are looking at right now is not a mac this is a fully customized high performance windows 11 pc if you are tired of windows looking boring i'm going to show you how you can get a professional mac os look on your windows in the next few minutes this is the ultimate windows 11 mac os transformation guide in 2025 i know you've seen a lot of guys but this is different in this video we are not just doing a mac os dog or any other few things we are doing a full all-in-one mac os team for windows so with this your windows is going to feel like mac os and the best part is every tool we are going to use in this customization is free and it won't slow down your pc i'm going to take you through the entire process step by step with all the downloads link below the description and before we jump in make sure you hit the like button so that i know that you really love this customization videos and i'll be willing to make more for you guys so let's get started first up what we are going to do is to change our windows icons to a mac os style icon and it's pretty easy to do now so to get it what you have to do is to run your rainhawk and if you don't have rainhawk don't worry i've placed a link in the description below where you can download rainhawk for yourself and what you have to do is to head to the explore tab and here search for resource redirect and just click on details and here what you have to do is to click on install to install i've already installed it so i'm going to enable it here and head to the settings tab and here there are going to be a whole lot of icon packs over here but what i recommend you choose is the mac os team and it's pretty amazing so i'm just going to go with the mac os regular and just click on save settings and we are good to go so with this in order to make sure what we have to do is to just restart our explorer so you can just right click on your start menu and here click on task manager and to make this faster for you just click on explorer and you are going to see explorer here click on it and click on restart once done if you launch your explorer again you are going to see that your icons has been changed to this beautiful mac os icons and it's pretty cool and beautiful so the next thing we are going to do is to head back to rainhawk again and there are some pretty cool things we have to use over here the first one is to customize our windows notification placement and we all know how mac os notification count from the top right corner but for windows it comes at the bottom corner and with this we can just turn it on and head inside and here what we can do is to just select right which is the default one over here and below it instead of button make it top and it's going to show all your notification at the top right corner of your screen just click on save changes and you are good to go the next mode we are going to use is called translucent windows and if you don't have that one too you can just search for it over here and it will show up click on details and install i've already installed it so i'm going to enable it up go to settings and here what you have to do is to make sure you turn all these things on and here change the default to acrylic and now make sure you turn on immersive dark mode title bar and also turn on this one too and save changes and you are good to go so with this what we've made our windows look a bit transparent and if i open my explorer right now you are going to see that my explorer is looking nicer and with a glassy look but there is a bug here which is making this thing look a bit bad and to face that you just have to head back to rainhawk and here what you have to search for windows 11 file explorer and you are going to see it over here so what you have to do is to click on it and install that one so once it's installed just head to the settings and here choose translucent explorer 11 and save changes and we are good to go so with this we are going to see that that black bug has been removed and now our windows explorer looks so good and beautiful so with this the next thing we are going to do is to change our close minimize and maximize icon to a mac os style which is going to be very beautiful and nice so to do that what you have to do is to head back to rainhawk again and here search for ux team and here what you have to do is to just click on details and install it so once it's, it's installed just leave it like that and you can close rainhawk and now i've provided a link to the files you are going to use in this video inside the description below so feel free to just 
download it and extract it on your desktop once you've extracted it you are going to see a whole lot of folders inside it and the first thing we are going to do is to just get the icons on our explorer so to do that just head to macOS ui team here and just select everything and cut and head to your local dixie click on windows and here search for resources and click on team and here paste it here once you have your team here you can close it up and just open your settings once you have your settings open head to personalization go to teams and here what you have to do is to select one of these teams and you are going to see that your file explorer is going to change to a new macOS style file explorer and this is pretty cool and beautiful so there are a bunch of teams over here feel free to go with the one you like some are light mode and there are a whole lot so with this you just have to select the one you want and you are good to go so i'll head back to this folder again and now the next thing we are going to do is to get a macOS style app launcher on our computer and to do that we have to install an application called flow launcher and to do that we have to install flow launcher and you can find it in this app launcher folder so i'll just double click on it to install this application once it's installed it's going to show some pop-up you can just close it up and here what i recommend you do is to copy this file and head to your local disk and here go to users click on some cocks or it it might be your username just click on it and here you have to go to view click on show and make sure you check the hidden item so that you see this app data folder once you have it here just click on it and here click on roaming and here open the flow launcher and go to teams and paste this file here once you have this file here you can just run your flow launcher so i'm just going to click on it to run it once it's open just right click anywhere in this test box and click on settings and here what we are going to do is to make sure we start flow launcher on system startup so click on here we can also hide it from the system tree but i'm just going to keep it there and just leave the things as the same the next thing we are going to do is to head to this appearances and here what you have to do is to click on the teams and scroll down and you are going to see this some course team over here click on it and now if you close it you can just click on the shortcut which is alt key plus space to open it up and if maybe you have chat gpt installed it's going to have some conflicts with this shortcut so to do that maybe you can change the shortcuts and it's pretty simple to change what you have to do is to just head to this hotkeys and what you have to do is to click here and just choose the shortcut you want and that's good to go so you can just select any shortcut you want and just click on save to save it and now you have this beautiful macOS style launcher on your windows and it's pretty amazing i've increased my device resolution to times 150 so that everything becomes big for you to see so at the end if i change it back to the normal size everything is going to look very nice but for the sake of the video i've made it 150 so that you can see everything smoothly the next thing we are going to do is to get the macOS dock on our windows and here we are going to just copy this folder so just right click on it and copy go to your disk pc go to local dxc and here you have to paste it here so i'm just going to paste mine here once it's pasted here you just have to open it up and scroll down you are going to see doc 64 just double click on it and it's going to run this my doc finder team on your windows you can see that my device has run into some black screen and it's pretty easy what you have to do is to just go back to the folder we extracted and just change the wallpaper to this macOS star wallpaper so i'll just click on it and set it as wallpaper wow now we have a beautiful team on our computer and to add a new icon to the dock here it's just pretty easy you just have to drag the icon you want to add and just paste it on your dock so if your icons are not showing like this or there are some icons which are already not working well for you you can just right click on them and just remove from dock and if you want to add a new icon you can just choose any icon you want by just opening the application up and once it's open you can just pin it on your dock and it's pretty easy if you want to know more about this application you can just check some of the my dock finder videos i've made 
on my channel and it's pretty amazing so feel free to check it out the next thing we are going to do is to set the macOS Keza on our computer and it's pretty easy just open this macOS Keza and here what you have to do is to right click on this install file and just click on install just click on yes to accept it and now we are good to go so once it's done what you have to do is to just head back to your windows settings so i'm just going to click on it and just and here go to accessibility click on mouse pointer and touch and here you can scroll down so you see the mouse and here scroll down and click on additional mouse settings and go to pointer here you can just choose mac os and here click on ok click on yes and you have this beautiful mac os Keza, which looks pretty beautiful and amazing so with this we can just head back to main folder and we are almost done with the customization the last thing we are going to do is to just get the mac os widgets on our computer to make everything look smooth and beautiful so to get that just double click on this you widget or i recommend you just head back and just copy this folder and go back to your local storage and paste it here once you have it on your local disk just double click on it and here install the remitter so click on ok and click on install and here install once it's installed you can launch it over here and it's going to show some default scans so right click on them and unload each of them so once you've unloaded them because we are going to add the widget i want to change my windows back to the default size so that we add the widget and make it look beautiful so i'm just going to scroll down here and make it 100 which was the default one and everything is going to look very clean and beautiful here so once i have it i can just open it up and here what we are going to run first is the u widget so i'll just double click on it and here you are going to see this pop up and what we have to do here is to head to the calendar and choose any of the widgets we want so i'm just going to go with this one and when i click on it i can drag it to everywhere i want on my desktop and it's pretty amazing so i'm just going to keep both of them here and make this one look medium because that's how i want it and here with a clock i just want to go with this one because it look a bit squarish and nice so i'll keep that one too here so here you just have to feel free and just add the widgets you want on your desktop to make it look like mac os so i'm just going to add this list and here you can add your own list if you want and it's pretty amazing so once you have some of the widgets on your desktop you can arrange it anywhere anyhow you want it and this is pretty simple and there are some few things you can do here you have to make sure you run it on startup so that it starts anytime you restart your computer and go to the appearance tab here and make sure you scroll down and here you can go between different modes over here but i like to go with the default one because it looks a bit nice and simple and here and if yours is not looking a bit nicer i mean the edges you can just turn the native frame on and it is going to make things look better for you so once you have everything you can just close it up and the next thing we are going to do is to copy this elegant clock and head to our document folder click on remitter go to scans and paste it here once you have it here you can just click on this one and here click on remitter and just and you just have to click on refresh or you are going to see this elegant clock and click on it and now you can show one of the clocks so i like to go with the light one and with this i can just drag it to the center like this and i have this beautiful mac os theme for windows and the last thing we are going to do is to right click on our dog head to preferences and here if you want your dog to start on boot you just have to make sure you change this one to start as a service and you are good to go so i'll just click on it and just set it as start as a service and anytime i restart my computer everything is going to be like this and it's pretty beautiful and also maybe if you had any challenge you can just click on this advanced and scroll down here and just click on here and choose any of these themes and it's going to apply the default theme i'm having now on your computer for you to use so this is it for this video if you really like this video make sure you click on the subscribe button thank you for watching bye